A pain in the shoulder. Could it be Parsonage Turner syndrome? Have you ever experienced a sudden sharp pain in your shoulder? Did this pain come out of nowhere, leaving you wondering about the cause? For some, this pain might be the first sign of a rare disorder known as Parsonage Turner syndrome or PTS. PTS can be alarming often striking seemingly healthy individuals. It can appear without any warning, disrupting daily activities and causing significant discomfort. This essay will shed light on this condition, exploring its causes, symptoms, diagnosis and treatment options. Understanding the underlying mechanisms of PTS can help in managing the condition more effectively. While relatively uncommon, understanding PTS is crucial. It is essential to recognize the early signs and seek medical advice promptly. Early recognition and prompt medical attention can significantly impact the course of the condition and aid in a smoother recovery. With the right approach, patients can manage symptoms better and improve their quality of life. Treatment often involves a combination of physical therapy, pain management, and sometimes medication. Each patient's journey with PTS is unique and a tailored approach is necessary for effective recovery. By raising awareness and understanding of Parsonage Turner syndrome, we can help those affected navigate their path to recovery with greater confidence and support. Unmasking the culprit. What is Parsonage Turner syndrome? Parsonage Turner syndrome, also known as brachial neuritis or neuralgic amyotrophy, is a rare neurological disorder. It is characterized by sudden and severe pain in the shoulder and arm followed by muscle weakness and sometimes even muscle wasting. It affects the brachial plexus, a network of nerves that control movement and sensation in the shoulder, arm and hand. This network is crucial for the proper functioning of these areas and any disruption can lead to significant impairment. This condition leads to inflammation of these nerves, disrupting their ability to transmit signals effectively. The inflammation can be triggered by various factors, including infections, vaccinations or even physical trauma. The result is a range of symptoms, primarily pain and weakness in the affected limb. Patients often describe the pain as sharp or burning, and it can be debilitating, making everyday tasks challenging. PTS typically affects one side of the body, but in rare cases, it can affect both sides. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial for managing symptoms and improving the quality of life for those affected by this condition. Unraveling the mystery, potential triggers of Parsonage-Turner syndrome. While the exact cause of Parsonage-Turner syndrome remains unknown, several factors have been linked to its development. These potential triggers include viral infections, recent surgeries and certain vaccinations, autoimmune reactions where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own tissues are also suspected to play a role. In many cases, no specific trigger can be identified, adding to the complexity of this enigmatic condition. Recognizing the signs symptoms of Parsonage-Turner syndrome. The onset of Parsonage-Turner syndrome is often sudden and unexpected. The hallmark symptom is intense pain in the shoulder and arm, which can be sharp, stabbing or aching in nature. This pain is frequently described as severe and debilitating, often interfering with sleep and daily activities. Following the initial pain, muscle weakness or even paralysis can develop in the affected arm and shoulder, making it challenging to perform simple tasks like lifting objects or reaching overhead. Section 5, the journey to diagnosis. Distinguishing Parsonage-Turner syndrome. Diagnosing Parsonage-Turner syndrome can be challenging due to its similarity to other conditions that cause shoulder pain and weakness, such as rotator cuff tears or cervical radiculopathy, which is a pinched nerve in the neck. A thorough medical history and physical examination are crucial in the diagnostic process. The doctor will inquire about recent illnesses, surgeries or vaccinations, as well as assess muscle strength, reflexes and sensation in the affected limb. Section 6. Unlocking the puzzle diagnostic tools for Parsonage-Turner syndrome. To confirm the diagnosis of Parsonage-Turner syndrome and rule out other conditions, doctors often rely on specialized tests. Magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI, can help visualize the brachial plexus and identify any signs of inflammation or compression. Nerve conduction studies and electromyography, or EMG, are electrodiagnostic tests that measure the electrical activity of nerves and muscles respectively. 
These tests can detect nerve damage and assess the severity of the condition. Section 7. Navigating the path to recovery treatment options. While there is no cure for Parsonage-Turner syndrome, the good news is that most people experience significant improvement with time and appropriate treatment. Treatment focuses on relieving pain and restoring function to the affected limb. Pain management often involves over-the-counter or prescription pain relievers as well as corticosteroids to reduce inflammation. Physical therapy plays a vital role in recovery, helping to maintain muscle strength, improve range of motion and prevent joint stiffness. Section 8. Looking ahead. Prognosis and coping with Parsonage-Turner syndrome. The prognosis for Parsonage-Turner syndrome is generally favourable with most individuals experiencing a full or near full recovery. This means that with time and proper care, many patients can return to their normal activities and routines. However, the recovery process can be gradual, ranging from a few months to several years. It's important to set realistic expectations and understand that progress may be slow, but steady. It's essential to remember that everyone's journey with PTS is unique. Sharing experiences with others who have the condition can provide support and encouragement. Some individuals may experience residual weakness or pain, which can be managed with ongoing therapy and medical support, while others may make a complete recovery. Regular follow-ups with healthcare providers are crucial to monitor progress and adjust treatment plans as needed. Patients, persistence with therapy and a positive outlook are crucial for navigating the challenges of this condition. Staying motivated and focused on small milestones can make a significant difference in the overall recovery journey.